Today is Veterans Day, and officials broke ground for the Vietnam Wall replica to be installed in Fort Wayne. Good afternoon. I'm Alyssa Ivinson. And I'm Pat Hoffman. The important step has been a long time coming for organizers and veterans alike. Wayne 15's Brianne Boswell joins us there now. Pat and Alyssa, close to 100 veterans were here this morning to celebrate the groundbreaking of the Vietnam Wall expected to be here in Fort Wayne. Joining me this afternoon is Eric Johnson with the Veterans National Memorial Shrine and Museum. Thank you so much for being here this afternoon. Can you explain to us what this wall is? Well, it's a 360-foot replica of the original wall in Washington, D.C. So it's 8 foot high at its, its highest point, Washington, D.C. is 10. But we're 80 percent, 360 foot long, and the mechanics of the wall are, are basic. There's all 58,000 names of fallen heroes are on there, and hopefully we'll have this thing erected and dedicated by next May. The Vietnam Wall has more than 58,000 names of fallen heroes, 1,500 from Indiana and 79 from Allen County. What would this mean for our community? Well, I think it, it's, they call it the healing wall, and I think that's really what it is. People that know people that are on the wall, we have five friends from high school that are on the wall. And uh, Eddie Placencia, one of the guys that spoke today, he's got 143 from his battalion that are on that wall. So it means a lot to people. It's not only a healing wall, but also very emotional for people that lost a relative during the war. When and what will it take for this memorial to be completed right here? Well, right now we're a little bit shy of $400,000. It'll take a million seven to get it fully erected in May. Uh, and a lot of that cost is due to ADA pathways, walkways, parking lots, things that will help improve the facility, also electrical, security, landscaping. Uh, it's a huge undertaking. It's Veterans Day today. What does something like this mean for veterans near and far? Well, I think, just like I said, the healing process is very important. Guys that came back from the war, especially Vietnam, Vietnam they weren't treated so well. They didn't get a big pat on the back. There were no ticker tape parades. Uh, it was a tough time. And uh, I think this helps all those guys realize that, you know, you, you are never forgotten. You will never be forgotten because of this facility out here. Really quick, Eric, how can we celebrate a veteran today? Tell him thank you for your service. Absolutely. Thank that, you. That's the, best, that's the best thing you can tell him. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Eric, for being here. And happy Veterans Day to all the people who have served and are currently serving. Live off a day road, Brian Boswell, Wayne 15 News.